Hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with Google's Nexus 7 tablet. We're going to take a look at how to unroot your Google Nexus 7 tablet if you have rooted it for whatever reason and you need it to get it back to stock settings so that you can either return it for warranty or do system updates for it. So if I just show you what I'm running by going to settings and then a back device, you can see I'm running Android Jelly Bean 4.11. And you can see that's already out of date because currently they're rocking 4.2. So we're going to be updating the software on this at some point in the future. But I just wanted to show you how you can return to stock with no root at all. First of all, what you need to do, if we go back into settings, go down to developer options. And then put, make sure there's a tick next to USB debugging. I've already got it on there, so we're good to go. I would also recommend... Now, if you've got any apps or data on here, just make sure that they're backed up elsewhere off this device, just in case you do lose them. With that in mind, what we need to do is get the USB cable, which we've got plugged into our computer, plugged into the 7-inch tablet itself. So we'll get this plugged in here, and then we'll pick up on the computer. Excellent. The Google Nexus 7 is plugged into the computer, and the autoplay window has appeared. So we'll just exit out of that for the time being, and just start up the Nexus Root Toolkit. The Nexus Root Toolkit is popped up in the top right hand corner of the screen. I will recommend that if you don't already have the drivers installed to install those, it is highly recommended because in the background it has all uh, the system files that you need to go ahead with this process. In the top left of the screen, you'll see your model type is Nexus 7 Wi-Fi tablet and it gives you the model number there. If it is anything different than this, click change and select it from the drop downs as you can see there. But in my case, this is correct. I'm running Android version 4.1.1 JR003D and I don't need to run a backup, I've already got one but I would recommend it if you haven't already done so. Next up what we need to do is go to flash stock or back to stock and it says flash stock plus unroot which is exactly what we want to do. We want to unroot then go back to uh, the software as it came out of the shop. And you can see it gives you two options there, current status it says soft bricked or boot loop which means if you've screwed up your device at some point and then device is normal and in my case it is normal so what I'm going to do is flash stock plus on root hit that brings up a, another window that you can see here which says this script is designed to help you restore your device back to stock please note that this procedure will completely wipe your device so make sure to back up all of your important data first as we've just discussed so press OK if you are ready uh, ready to continue so we'll hit OK and it brings up this window here. If I just bring that back into the shot. And it says Wi-Fi tablet factory images, other browse which is currently got ticked, or it will go through to this build here, Android version 4.2.1, which is the current build for this device. But I don't want that one. I want to go back to the one that was when I purchased it out the shop. So if I go to other and then it'll automatically it'll select down here I downloaded a factory image myself and I would like to use that instead so uh, what we'll do is I'll bring up a web browser and I'll, again I'll leave a link in the description where you can download this from the link will be there it'll take you through to the Google developers pages so it's all above board it's nothing dodgy and what you need to do is select uh, the Nexus 7 Wi-Fi model which is the one that I have obviously select yours if you have a different one and it gives you two options to download Android version 4.1.2 or Android version 4.2.1 now as I say when I purchased it it was Android 4.1.2 on this device so I'm going to download that and when you click on it download it takes you down to uh, the section for your device and as you can see this is the Nexus 7 Wi-Fi so 4.1.2 as you can see there you click on the link and you download it and it downloads a uh, zip file with a file extension ending in TGZ and if I minimize that you can see here it is that's the, the zip file that I downloaded and I plonked on the desktop there going back to this window we've already selected other and I've uh, used the image that I've downloaded myself so click OK there it should give us a window so we can select it here it is here so remember it's on the desktop so I'll just select it there it is hit open and it will say it wants uh, the MD5 hash given for this file. So again, uh, if we just bring up the website, there's the link of the file that I downloaded, and that's the corresponding MD5 checksum. So right-click, copy, and then all I'm going to do, right-click, paste, just to make sure it's got the right one, then hit OK. Then displays a window which says your file is good to extract, and flash, press OK to continue. So we'll hit OK, 
and it says please be patient while your file extracts so it shouldn't take too long it says checking ADB status so it's now connecting to the device and it says device is connected rebooting your device into bootloader mode and as you can see on the left hand side the device has rebooted and gone into fast boot mode now we have a window which says flash stock confirmation flashing stock will factory reset your device make sure to back up your important data first while it's flashing stock please be patient press ok if you are ready to continue press cancel if you are not ready yet we are ready so we're going to hit ok and it brings up I'll just move this towards the right hand side so you can see it just a dust prop window will let it do its thing and you can see it says sending bootloader so many sizes ok writing bootloader ok finished in 1.18 seconds finished total time 1.45 seconds rebooting into bootloader ok at 0 0.2 seconds finish total time 0 0.021 and as you can see it's rebooted the device excellent you can see the device is now rebooted and the command prompt scripts have finished with a total time of 107.3 seconds so we'll just let the device reboot let it go through the motions as you can see on the screen there it's giving you some instructions just stating that if it does appear to be boot looping just leave it be give it five to ten minutes or so and just be patient it should be okay and as you can see on the device itself it has rebooted and we're going to select English United Kingdom hit play to go in and what we'll do is select my Wi-Fi do you have a Gmail account but we'll say no for the time being and not now to Google now take off Google location stuff and I'll just type in my name Google services sub completes excellent now what we're going to do is just switch on um, USB debugging because the bootloader is still unlocked so just hit OK there go to settings go down to developer options just turn that on in the top right and then do USB debugging is on and just to go back here into about device you can see it's running Android version 4.1.2 excellent so that's back to what it was or the base stock Android version now on the machine itself as you can see it's press any key to exit so we'll hit any key and it says uh, we've got an update here which says assuming the operation you just performed was successful you should change your model type when you press OK the program will change the model type to now can I say Android 4.1.2 as it does there press OK to accept this change press cancel to leave your model type as blah -de blah I just want to check the model type on the device has been updated to what it's saying and yes it has so I'm OK with that so we'll say OK and remember we've just flashed our device to factory settings but the bootloader is still unlocked now that needs to be locked for you to make any warranty claims on it so what we'll do underneath where it says relock OEM lock after flashing stock use this to fully return to factory settings so hit OEM lock and it brings up another window here which says this script will relock your device back to the original equipment manufacturer specifications bringing you back to a true factory state you should be running stock Android before using this use the stock use the flash stock plus and root button press OK if you're ready to continue cancel if you're not we are so we'll hit OK again it says checking ADB status so it's connecting to the device and it confirms the device is connected it says rebooting your device into bootloader mode and as you can see it's just going into the bootloader on the device itself checking fast boot status and we'll let it go through its motions there and that confirms the device is connected as well now we've got another window which says lock information your device should now be locked or relocked when you press OK your device will boot back up to confirm you are relocked look at the Google boot screen while it boots back up you should no longer see the little unlocked icon press OK to ready 
to continue. So here we go. So as it boots up, and there you go, you've got the Google logo, but no padlock towards the bottom of the screen, which is normally a symbolization that the device is unlocked. But in this case, the device is now locked, and you no longer get any padlock at all. So that's booting back up as normal, and we'll let it go through the motions. As you can see, the Google Nexus 7 is now booted back up into its regular state and we can disconnect the cable from the computer because a root toolkit is no longer required and we are now back at factory stock settings running Android Jelly Bean 4.1.2 and with an updated build number as well which is a new standard for the Nexus 7 tablet. And that's how easily you can unroot your Google Nexus 7 and return it to stock Android operating system as you bought it from the store or online retailer. Also returning it to within warranty status so it doesn't look as if you've tampered with it. Any questions or comments you guys have got, hit them up down in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. It doesn't cost you anything and it's totally free and you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching, have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.